Objection! Hello, I'm Caroline. I'm Griff. And today we're bringing you five tips to help you dominate the courtroom in Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. Now, this is the very first time Catcom's Detective series is coming to PC, despite the initial game launching over 18 years ago. Yeah, and to prepare you for it, we've been busy practicing our dramatic finger pointing in the private beta. So whether you're a beginner barrister or a master magistrate, here are five legal leg ups ahead of its release on PC. Did you like that, Master Magistrate? <laughs> well, you just Googled it, didn't you? I did just Google it, yes. Yeah. So, Griff, before we start, why don't you tell me what games are in the trilogy? Well, if you buy the trilogy, Caroline, you're getting the first game, obviously, which is Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, the second one, of course, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, Justice for All, and the final game in the trilogy, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, Trials and Tribulations. Oh man, it's quite a mouthful. Uh, but right now, we're looking at footage I've captured. So, you'd think it would actually look a bit ancient, considering how old these games actually are, but I gotta say, they scrub up pretty well. Yeah, they do, actually, yeah. Um, it's all in HD, as you'd expect. It looks pretty good. The graphics have been revamped. Uh, the interface as well, which is important, that's had an overhaul. Uh, and there are, of course, multiple save slots so you can hop between games at will. I like that. But should we crack on with the tips? Let's do it. Tip right. one! So our first tip is detailing how exactly these games work, if you didn't already know. I do know. Do you? Yeah. Sure. In the Ace Attorney trilogy, you play as rookie defense attorney Phoenix Wright on his dramatic journey through the justice system. Each game in the trilogy has four to five cases. I knew that. No, you didn't. And they've each got two phases. You didn't know that. <laughs> the first phase is you basically investigate your client's case, which you do by inspecting crime scenes, collecting evidence, and interviewing witnesses. This phase gives you an idea of what kind of bad stuff went down, and it lets you start to piece together who the criminal is. You think you may have found out the truth, but then the real investigation begins when you walk into the courtroom. And I should know because I played a bunch of this game, and that makes me a 100% real qualified law attorney. Uh, yeah, sure. Anyway, what's the second phase, Caroline? The second phase is the courtroom phase, and here you'll be presenting your evidence, handling rebuttals from prosecutors, and exposing the lies and witness testimonies to get the truth. But you kind of have to expect the unexpected, because the Ace Attorney series is known for turning a case on its head in the middle of a courtroom session. Oh, good tip, good tip. I will expect literally everything to happen then. Tip two! In the first phase, it's actually impossible to fail. Did you know what? that? No. You can't fail. The game won't let you proceed to the courtroom phase until you meet all the criteria, which is things like, you know, collecting all the evidence and interviewing everyone you need to. Uh, and this is a good thing because it means you'll never be in a situation where you've backed yourself into a corner in phase two, so you'll have everything you need to win the courtroom battle when they roll around. That's perfect that for you. Yeah. Perfect, because you always fail, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, you've only got yourself to blame. Exactly. And just a quick note about evidence, actually. Mm -hmm. All your evidence is stored in the court record in the menu. Uh, yes. You can yes. look at the profiles of the people involved in the case and basically look over all the relevant details to try and pick holes in it or highlight anything suspicious. The court record is important because you'll refer to it throughout the case, especially when a witness in court says something that contradicts it. Then you can be all like, wrong! Oh, what? Why, why didn't I zoom in and stuff? Uh, Caroline, you have to be like this. Tip three! During the detective phase, you can travel around freely, Caroline, and visit areas of significance. Now, obviously, these areas uh, have clues to help your case, but as well as that, kind of impacts your case. Like, am I talking sense here? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding you up. Okay. So like, if you wanted to reconstruct events or something, the only way you could probably do that is by knowing where all the locations are. Exactly. Oh, I'm glad, I'm glad the sense was made. Um, but you know, like someone might be, I went to the zoo, then I went to the sewer. And you could be like, wrong, you can't go from the zoo to the sewer. And then like, you've won the case. Um, you know, that's not actually something that happens in the game, by the way, because like, who visits a zoo then a sewer? <laughs> yeah, because you'd obviously visit the sewer first. You would obviously visit the sewer first, yeah. Tip four! Okay, so this one's about the importance of talking to everyone. Everyone? Yes. Wow. And it sounds pretty obvious, but you really need to make sure that you speak to everyone about all the available subjects. Everyone. Everyone. Often talking to someone first and then talking to them again after an event has happened unlocks something extra, like a new line of inquiry, you know, or something like that. And the same goes for presenting evidence as well, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So evidence you collect, you can present it to someone to get their thoughts on it, um, and that can be vital to the case. The writing is laid and you can easily miss a clue in a line of dialogue. So, you know, if you ever do find yourself a bit stuck, it's probably because you haven't presented someone with the right item from the court record. So yeah, talk to everyone and present them with items. Now, let's move on to... Tip 5! Now, if you're having trouble getting past a particular testimony, press the character on all their statements. You will likely get a new bit of info that can turn the tide of a case, but also be prepared to be wrong. I always am. You always are. Before you go into court, you might have one idea of who it is, but the game is known for turning the case completely on its head and throwing in all kinds of curveballs. Mm. If you present irrelevant facts too many times, the trial will end and you will have to walk away with your head hung in shame. Just like that. Feel like that? Yeah. 
five misses in a single court session and your client will be judged as guilty. Guilty! And it'll be all your fault. It's so fine. basically be open to all possibilities and press people a lot. A good attorney is an inquisitive attorney and also one who wears oh, lovely suits. Exactly. Outro! Well, you're getting, you're getting pretty good at that. Thanks, I try. <laughs> but anyway, we hope these tips for Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy help you. It's a must play if you're into visual novels and mysteries and things like that. And it's out right now. It is indeed. And as ever, if you like this video, please leave us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching. See ya.